I'm Nancy Fry. In this month's Show and Tell column, we focus our attention on English learners and especially the importance of making sure that every student knows what the purpose of their learning is. In this video, you'll see a sixth grade English teacher spending a few minutes talking about the content, language, and social purposes. Notice too how it is that she unpacks those purpose statements, making sure that her students understand the vocabulary of the lesson before they even begin. Enjoy! I mentioned that it's really important that I always go back and explain to you guys what we're doing today. Okay, so I'm going to try to remember to do that several times. Okay, I want to remind you that we are going to have a chance to read this article. Give me five. Thank you. Okay, English scholars. Remember, active and engaged listening. I want to remind you that we're going to get a chance to read this article. We're going to be able to identify some transition words. Before we do that, we're going to take a look at these frames. Even before we do that, I'm going to go back and we're going to just remind ourselves about what we're doing today. Okay, so let's look up where we see our little moving purpose. Content. Understand the purpose of transition words and how they guide the reader from one idea to the next. Okay? So just like how we transition from one activity to another activity, authors use certain words to transition from one idea to another idea. And so we're going to be experts in this. Okay. Language. Remember. English, all about communication, all different types of language. Choose the appropriate, ooh, that's a hard word. What does appropriate mean? Who can raise their hand and tell me what appropriate means? What do you think it might mean? Necessary, relevant to the subject. Necessary, relevant to the subject. Wow, scholar, English scholar over here. What do you think it might mean? Proper. Proper. Look at you. Wow. Okay, so. Choose the right, choose the appropriate transition for your intended purpose. Intend. That's a difficult word as well. What does the word intend mean? Or what do you think it might mean? I love that I see hands go up. What do you think it might mean? Not sure? Okay, but I like that you tried. Yes. To avoid. to avoid, maybe? What do you think it might mean? To do on purpose. To do on purpose? What do you think it might mean? What it is meant to do. What it is meant to do? What do you think? What it's meant to be. What it's meant to be? So, let me ask you something. If I all of a sudden, I'm walking, and I all of a sudden trip, because sometimes I might be a little bit clumsy, do you think I intended to trip? No. Probably not, right? Because I could hurt myself. Hmm. What could I intend to do? What's something that I would want to do? Oh, maybe if you went to kick something, like if I, I love to play soccer, if I went to play soccer and I kicked the soccer ball, would I intend to kick that soccer ball? Yes. yes. I meant to kick it, right? That's part of the game. So choose the appropriate transition for your intended purpose. Why we want to do this. Why am I choosing this word? How does it help the reader? Social. Okay, social is very important because this is all about our collaboration. Okay, or whether or not we're working independently. Social purpose for today. Collaborate with peers while demonstrating behaviors of an active and engaged listener. So, in here it says, think about your body language, okay? What type of body language am I asking about, or am I asking you to think about? See a hand up already, what's one type? Um, looking at the person that's speaking. Looking at the person that's speaking, absolutely. What's another type? Raising your hand when you want to talk. Oh, and because sometimes it's appropriate to talk back and forth to each other if you're in a conversation. Sometimes. We kind of want to hold back and see if it's okay to add on to the conversation. I like that you said that. Great job. What do you think? Well, I'm talking, just talking. Oh yeah, maybe not talking over somebody. Yeah. 
listening to the speaker. What about these? Yes. Eye contact. A smile never hurt anybody, right? I see all these hands going up. You guys know these. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to see all this collaboration happening.